Welcome to Windows 8. Once you've booted up, there's no looking for the start button. You're now presented with a whole snazzy start screen. Swipe the series of live tiles left and right to view the automatic updates on your apps, whether it's new Facebook alerts, emails waiting or breaking news. You can, of course, customise the colour of the start screen and choose a lock screen image that kicks in when you're away from your PC. All very classy, but what if you want to use the computer for word processing or another programme? Well, one of the tiles is marked Desktop, and that will take you straight to the classic Windows view. Here you'll find files, folders and programs in all the old familiar places. The apps like to take over the whole screen, but if you want to see more, you can drag from the edge of the screen and show the Windows desktop on one corner, or another app. Or, if you prefer, you can stretch that so it takes over more of the screen. Windows 8 embraces apps full on. Among the preloaded apps are some neatly aggregated content, so you can find news, sport, travel and finance all in one place. And Maps looks great. Just like a mobile phone, Windows 8 has its own store of applications called the Windows Store. There are about 5,000 available now, but Microsoft aims to have 100,000 or more by the end of the year. So, whatever your needs, from browsing the web on your tablet right through to performing the most complex tasks on your desktop, Windows 8 can do it all. It's a new way of computing.